one of the residents here who was working uh, on the loading dock, his name's Tom, he um, was just impressed with what we're doing here and spending all afternoon husking all this corn. And, and, and we're a fun, loving group. Uh, we had a lot of fun doing it, and, and uh, we, we engaged a lot of the people that were you know, on the dock and so forth. But Tom was asking me, he says, you know, tell me about your church. I, I want to know more about a church that uh, um, has, uh, you know, takes the time to spend an entire afternoon you know, uh, on a whim, on a call, and saying, you know, rallying people and come down to do this. You know, make a long story short, he, he was interested in coming to visit us. So um, I came down, you know, the next Sunday and, and, and uh, picked him up and took him to church and, and uh, we established a relationship uh, together. So I would see Tom quite a bit. Well, one day I was down here, you know, delivering some coffee and he says to me, he says, Keith, he goes, you got to read this book. And I go, well, what is it, Tom? And he goes, it's called Not a Fan by Kyle Eidelman. And uh, he says, it's, this is a game changer, a life changer, right? And and I was kind of like, okay, oh, sure, I mean, I'll, I'll read it, and thanks for the book. So he gave it to me. And I remember that night, you know, I was, I was on the bed, you know, in the nightstand, and I thought, okay, I got 15 minutes before I fall asleep here. <laughs> so I thought, all right, I'll start reading this. Well, an hour later, I'm, you know, three or four chapters deep into this book and, and wide awake, and, and, and it was really gripping me. The gist of the, of the message is, is that you know, not a fan, right? It's, it's being a completely committed follower to Jesus Christ and what the difference between a fan and a follower is. I started looking in the mirror and I said to myself, you know, I'm, I'm pretty much like a fan at times. So the book made a huge impact on my life, right? Well, the irony of this is, that's the last time I saw Tom. And I, I know he's, I think he's moved on uh, from Water Street and I understand he's doing well, but I never really, you know, thanked him for this. So here I am, and I feel like the Lord's working through me to help change this gentleman's life. And what, what he did in giving that book to me and challenging me to read it had more impact on me than I think I had on him. And it clearly changed my life.